sanding, spraying, smoothing, and sanding again for hours on end just to get a decent surface finish. Who wants to do that? Every 3D printed part has this one problem. That's the sound of my nail rubbing against the layer lines. It's the telltale sign that sets apart 3D printed from injection molded parts. Acetone smoothing has been around for a while, but I think it's yet to see its full potential. I've been working on a technique that gets you the smooth, shiny surface finish in just a matter of seconds. I use Flashforge White ASA because it prints beautifully and it's got that good layer adhesion. There are, however, some nuances to be able to do this properly. A polished smooth surface finish beats a raw one with layer lines for a few reasons. First, it looks sharp and professional. Second, it's way easier to clean since it's less porous and it doesn't trap dirt or germs. Traditionally, acetone smoothing involves putting a bit of acetone in a polypropylene tub. You leave the part in for hours sealed, sometimes with a fan for air circulation. You need to experiment to work out exactly how long to leave it in for to get that vapor smooth surface. And some materials are just too stable for that vapor smoothing reaction to even happen. Another method is you fill a container with acetone and then dip your part in for about three to five seconds. This produces a really good surface finish, but you can't do it with hollow parts. The acetone seeps into any cavities of the part and actually dissolves the plastic from within. I've ruined a whole bunch of parts doing this, so make sure your sparse infill settings are correct and your part is 100% solid. The other problem with this technique is the dissolved plastic actually contaminates the acetone reservoir and the acetone needs to be clean for smoothing. The method that solved all these problems was using a pressure sprayer. You have to adjust the nozzle to get a wide soft spray and you simply spray the part all over making sure you don't miss any spots. You need to cover the part as quickly as possible with acetone before setting it down letting it dry. 24 hours later you can put it in a filament dryer at around 50 to 60 degrees celsius to evaporate all the remaining acetone left in the part. The most critical thing that I've learnt with this is that you need your environment or room to be at least 30 degrees celsius for the acetone to set evenly on the part after spraying otherwise you get uneven cloudy streaks because the cold air makes the acetone set too quickly. If you spray the raw part without sanding, you might still see the layer lines, but to the touch you'll still have that sealed, polished finish. If you want to get rid of them completely, give it a quick coarse sand and the acetone will do the rest.